the next concept is variation of resistivity with respect to temperature variation of resistivity with the temperature we know that resistance is equal to rho l by a from this relation we can write r is directly proportional to rho if r is a variation with respect to the temperature like rho also have the same variation with respect to the temperature therefore what is the expression for the rho t is equal to rho 0 into 1 plus alpha into t minus t naught same terms in place of r t i wrote rho t in place of r 0 we wrote rho 0 what is our rho t resistivity of the given material at temperature t what is rho 0 same resistivity of the given material at temperature 0 degrees here we can write it as t naught also so t naught is equal to 0 degrees celsius or room temperature alpha is coefficient of resistivity with respect to temperature coefficient of resistivity where t minus t naught is change in temperature it is also called delta t also so proportionality ratio the formula is also in the same order metals have the resistivity metals resistivity is 10 power minus 8 ohm meter to 10 power minus 6 ohm meter or we can write like this 10 power minus 8 ohm meter to 10 power minus 6 ohm meter this is the resistivity of the metals but insulators like ceramic rubber plastic they have the resistivity of 10 power 18 times of the metals resistivity of insulators is equal to 10 to the power of 18 times of resistivity of metals because insulators have higher resistivity metals have low resistivity because resistivity and conductivity both are in reciprocals to each other the conductivity of metals is more that's why resistivity is less the conductivity of insulator is less and negligible and zero that's why its resistivity is 10 power 18 times of the metal this is the smallest expression which relates the resistivity with respect to the metals and insulators the next concept is resistors Resistors which are useful in electrical circuits for the students it is useful in uh, they will do some researches and some experiments uh, in the physics lab so in the laboratory equipments so the resistors construction is much needed what are the resistors mostly the commercially used resistors are two types wire bound resistors and carbon resistors first one wire bound resistors second one carbon which resistor you want to use in a circuit or in an experiment it depends upon its resistivity wire bound resistors are resistors are 
made up of an alloy of manganese aluminum and nickel etc etc the carbon resistors are they will use the carbon type of materials to produce these type of resistors so wire bound resistors made up of uh, an alloy which will be used based on its uh, resistivity to find the resistance of a resistor so shape of the resistor which is useful in the labs are similar to like this there is a some cylindrical shape I think this like a resistor exists. Mostly the resistor has some colors on it and silver coating is there, gold coating is there and sometimes no coating is also there. Refer, this is color 1, this is color 2, this is color 3 and this is maybe silver coating or gold coating or no coating. Each color has some codes and with respect to that codes we can find out the resistance of the given resistor without connecting in any circuit or without using the digital multimeter. Suppose if, they, if anyone don't know how to acknowledge the resistance of a resistor to find out the resistance of a resistor, yes what they will do they will take a digital multimeter and they will touch the probes of this digital multimeter with the probes of the DMM. Maybe this is the positive probe, this is the negative probe, which is connected to the digital multimeter and they will turn on the knob to the ohms range. With respect to that, they will find out the resistance of this resistor. Maybe some 1 kilo ohm, 500 ohms, 230 ohms, like that. Without touching the digital multimeter, by using the color codes, we can find out the resistance of the given resistor. There is a code for that. Now we will see what is that code, what are the codes of each color and how will you find out. How the color coding is helpful to find out the resistance of a given resistor. Let me write the statement which is useful to the color coding. Color coding of resistors. There is a statement B B Roy goes Bombay via Goa. It may not be true, but this code is very very important to find out the color coding of each and every color. So, what is this? Uh, Color, what are these colors? What are the color codes? We will check the things now. B, the first B, black. Second B, brown. R for red. O for orange. Y for yellow. G for green, B for blue, V I for violet, G for grey, last one sometimes white color also coated W for white. The color coding of the black color is 0. Brown 1, 2, orange 3, yellow 4, green 5, blue 6, violet 7, grey 8, white 9. Next some other colors are also there. Gold, silver and sometimes no color also. Gold, silver no color 
if there is a gold coating in the beginning of the resistor where we are going to calculate the color codes this gold color represents five percentage of tolerance silver color represents 10 percentage of tolerance no color means it's a 20 percentage of tolerance what is the meaning of toleration or tolerate means bearing that sometimes with respect to the resistance some high voltage is passing through it okay if a gold color is there five percent more than its capacity it can tolerate 10 percent more than the capacity tolerates and 20 percentage of its maximum capacity they can tolerate so these are all the color codes of different colors by using these codes how will you find out the resistance of a resistor let me see one example we'll see one example how to find out the resistance of a resistor this is the structure on that a cylindrical mounting now i am applying some colors blue green last one is red let us suppose this is a silver coating so this is the color coding now please see blue green red colors used this is silver what is the direction to count the color which is first which is second if this is the silver coating from here we should find out the direction so what is the first color color code blue six second color five third color red two blue green red silver coating silver coating means it has 10 percentage of the tolerance it can tolerate more than 10 percent or 10 percent more than its maximum capacity of voltage or maximum capacity of the resistance now how to find out the resistance of this given resistor it will be like this in a number system we are writing like this one place tenth place hundredth place thousand place like that like that please write the first color code second color code into 10 to the power of third color code this first color code and second color code is not at all multiplying or adding they are placed like positions of numbers zero play a one place a tenth place like that so what is the first color code six what is the second color code five into ten into what is the third color code two ohms 65 into 100 ohms that means 6500 ohms in kilo ohms we can write 6.5 kilo ohms so if a resistor having these type of colors its resistance is 6.5 kilo ohms if you like this video please give a thumbs up Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.